welcome to our sea star feeding. Today we're going to feed the sea stars in this tank. We've got two ochre sea stars, also known as purple sea stars. So they come in a variety of colors. They come in purple, they come in orange, some have even been pink. We're going to be feeding them some clams today. Hopefully that orange one doesn't run out of frame. <laughs> I picked this view because that orange one is right on the wall so that we can clearly see it eating the clam. Sea Star's stomach are actually on the bottom. Going to grip onto that clam with all those two feet and bring it down to its mouth. So the way that sea stars eat is they will take one of their stomachs out of their body. They will throw it into that clam, digest the clam, and put their stomach back into their body where they have a second stomach that helps them digest all that gooiness inside that clam.
we've got a live sea star feeding going on. These are our two ochre sea stars, also known as the purple sea star by its common name. It's because they can come in purple, but they can also come in this orange color as well as pink. So they bring that clam over to their stomach, which is in the center there. And hopefully we can see this one take that stomach out of its body to digest that clam. Sea stars have eyes which is pretty crazy to think about. They've actually got an eye on each of the end of their arms, but they can't see like us. They can only really see in black and white, more like shadow and light. So if you close your eyes, you look to the sun, it kind of looks lighter in your eyelids. And if you look to the ground, it looks darker. So that's kind of how these guys see. They use their tube feet to taste. They're tasting around wherever they touch. That's pretty gross. I'm glad that as humans, we don't have to taste everything that we touch. So I gave this guy a clam at the very tip of its arm, and now it's brought it all the way to the center where its mouth is. Our other sea star over here dropped its clam on the ground and it's getting Inching its way forward, eat that clam. Put this guy on the wall. It's a pretty cool sight. Sea stars are part of the echinoderm family, which means spiny skin. So if you look at sea stars, they kind of do have little spines. They are also the same family as the sea urchins, those spiny guys. There are sand dollars are part of the echinoderms because if you've ever seen a live sand dollar, they're pretty fuzzy like the sea urchins. But usually you'll just see washed up sand dollar shells on the beach. Sea star shells, they do kind of have a skeleton, it's internal, and you won't usually see those washed up on the beach, not as often as you'll see the sand dollar shells. So what the sea star is doing is it's turning that clam so that the opening is where the sea star will expel its stomach out of its body to digest that clam. And then once the clam is digested, it brings that stomach back in and it's got that second stomach to help in digestion. Our purple sea star really brought that clam far in side to where its mouth is.
if you ever see a sea star that is kind of bunched up, it's most likely feeding on something. I gave this sea star a clam. I gave it a clam at the tip of its arm. And over the course of this video, that clam has been slowly moved to the center of the sea star via all those tube feet. Those tube feet are propelled by water. Sea stars don't have blood so can, to control the movement of their body. They use water. They have a little hole on the top of them called the madriparite, and they use that to take in water. And as that, they can move that water throughout their body and use it to really latch onto rocks or to move across the sandy bottom looking for food. Did you have any? questions, feel free to ask them below. We're doing a sea star feeding of our ochre sea stars, also known as purple sea stars, but they can come in a wide variety of purples, oranges, or sometimes even pink. I was originally thought that these were two separate species, but further DNA analysis has proven us wrong and they're actually the same species of sea star. They just come in different colors. stars are not very picky when it comes to the food that they eat. They eat a variety of foods from mussels, clams, shrimp, anything that they can get their own two feet on. Our sea stars have five arms here, but different sea star species can have a different number of arms. Sun sea stars or sunflower sea stars have a lot more than just five arms. So this sea star is bunching up that clam to where its mouth is. Its mouth is on that underside and it's going to take one of its stomach and it's going to pop that stomach out of its body into that clam digest all that gooiness in the clam and then bring its stomach back into its body and then it's got that second stomach to help aid in digestion.
I hope you enjoyed watching this live video of our sea stars. These are our ochre sea stars, also known as purple sea stars, because they come in that purple, or they come in orange, sometimes even pink. We fed them clams today, gave them a clam at the tip of its arm, and used those two feet to travel the clam all the way to the center, where that mouth is. That mouth has a stomach that comes out of the mouth, digests the clam, and brings the stomach back inside of the body. It uses those two feet to taste around. It's like if you use your hands and everything you touch, you taste it. That's what these sea stars are doing. Pretty gross. I'm glad as humans, we don't taste everything we touch. Sea stars come in wide variety, live in all different types of oceanic environments from the tropics to the polar regions we see sea stars all over the globe they're part of the invertebrates which means they don't have a backbone they're part of the echinoderms which means they've got that spiny skin Sea stars actually are able to see. They have eyes, but they can only see light and dark. So as if you close your eyelids and you look to the sun, it looks lighter. You look to the shade, it gets darker. That's kind of how sea stars see. Quite the tongue twister there. So this guy is digesting that clam. And then once it's done, it will just leave the shell behind. They don't eat the entire shell. So if you see a lot of empty shells laying around, that's probably because a sea star ate it. If the shell has a hole in it, that means a moon snail ate it. Or it could have died of natural causes. But we do have these sea stars out in our environment, out in the Puget Sound, eating those clams. It doesn't look like we're gonna see the stomach today. It hid that clam pretty tightly into its body. But very lucky to have this one on the wall. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.